In this video, I'm going to provide you with a few examples, different examples of a stairway and what stairway will be accepted and which one will not be referring to the International Building Code book 2018. And I will put the pages and the numbers of those um, building codes in the video description area for those looking for more information. And if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the um, comment area about the video or measurements or something I might be able to help you with. So let's go ahead and get started. The minimum building code for the tread depth is 11 inches and the minimum rise I believe is 7 inches and that's actually what I did. I just created a block of wood here to make everything simple and you can always check your stuff with a block of wood or a framing square um, and I think that's actually made a previous video on that, checking it with a framing square. But this is just a block of wood, 11 inches by 7 inches. And this right here would be acceptable by most building departments for a public stairway. Uh, residential stairways can be a little less. We'll get, that, we'll get to that in a little bit. Now here's a stairway with a nosing. It has a 1-inch nosing. And the measurement is going to be from the front of the tread to the front of the tread on the um, stairway. And if you notice over here, the front of the step, the front of the tread right here is a straight line and the front of the tread here is a straight line. No nosing. This one here does have a nosing and this is also fine the because it meets the building codes. I hope that makes sense. Front of the step or the front of the projection of the step in some cases, which is what we'd be looking at here. So it is not measuring from here to here. So we have an 11 inch block and then a one inch overhang. So we would have a 12 inch step. And this is, I understand this gets confusing to people when they are going to do something like this for a residential stairway. So this right here is acceptable. They actually have a clause or an exemption in the building code book to where 10 inches is fine for a residential stairway or a home that most people live in. But again, I'm just sending these out there. You, It's your responsibility to check with the local building department. They not might not approve this stuff. Yeah, it depends. These videos are watched all over the world. And of course, we're in the year 2019 right now, March of 2019. And the building codes could change and make this video obsolete. And of course, I will try and make another video if that's the case. So here we have front projection, front projection, 10 inches. We're fine here. Next example, we have a, we have a, a cutback or a setback in the stairway. So instead of having an overhang, we have a setback. An undercut is what uh, we used to call them. So the front of the tip, the very tip of the stair tread to the very tip of the stair tread here is 10 inches. This is fine for a private or a residential stairway. However, this one might not be because it breaks another building code rule. And that is, of course, the projection of the nosing. It cannot be greater than an inch and a quarter. So in this example here, we have an inch nosing and then we have a one inch undercut. So we have two inches here. The distance here cannot be greater than an inch and a quarter. So even though we meet the 10 inches for the minimum tread depth for uh, most residential building codes, we do not meet the nosing projection um, building code, which creates a problem. I hope that makes sense. So here we have another situation where we have a two inch overhang. And I've seen this before. People come in and here we have a nine inch tread um, because we have a two inch nosing. I kept these measurements the same. We have 11 inches here. And the nosing projection here is, is this is not going to meet the nosing projection building code of a minimum of an inch and a quarter. It's two inches. And of course, the tread, it's not going to meet the tread depth because it is nine inches. Here we have basically the same thing, a two inch undercut 
So from the tip of the nosing, we were breaking the projection rule for the nosing, and we do not have the minimum minimum tread depth. And again, these are all stairs I have seen built, and uh, they aren't as difficult to walk up, but they are difficult to walk down. And I believe I've stated that in other videos. So here we have a nine inch stair tread with a one inch overhang. Again, this is probably something that's not going to make your building department happy. And here we have a nine inch step with a one inch cut back. And that is it for the video. I tried to make it as short as I could. I could have made it shorter, I guess, but uh, what the heck, These, this is, this is what you're used to with my video. So hope it makes sense. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.